So you would never call me a in my face, right? Well, I don't, I, why would I just randomly call you a um, No, but you would never call like a gay person that to their face. That seems like an absurd, like why, no, of course, I'm not just going around, I'm a 35 year old mother. I think getting fired from CNN really broke this guy's brain. What is wrong with him? What's up guys, welcome back to The Cross Unit. I'm your host, Brother Maverick, and a few days back, I was shocked to see that Don Lamont, of all people, invited Candace Owens to have a debate slash Q&A on his podcast. And although they addressed a myriad of topics, I wanted to react to what I thought was the most important section of their conversation. And that was Don Lamont's outlook on what the Bible says concerning his lifestyle. And if you think you've heard some twisted understandings of the Bible before, you ain't seen nothing yet. Okay, here's something interesting that we may have some common ground on, okay? Um, and wh but what do you think about same-sex marriage? It's a sin. You think it's a sin? So you think it I'm sinful? Sin. What's that? You think I'm sin sinful because I'm married to a man? Yeah. You do? Yes, okay. you're sinning. You are in a sinful relationship. I don't believe, I actually don't believe marriage can be between two men. So I don't But you understand though, Candace, and maybe we're not gonna agree on this now, I thought we would. Do you understand though that um, the same Bible verses and the same scriptures that are used um, to s call same-sex sex marriage sinful are used to call um, interracial marriage sinful as well. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys knew I was going to interject right there. I mean, how could I not? Don Lamont is trying to use the same argument that many atheists use, which is the tragedies of Christianity argument. Now, what that is, is when a person looks at events throughout history and says, how can Christianity be good when these events took place in the name of Christianity? How can a good God allow the Crusades? How can a good God allow slavery? Which he did not and is thoroughly explained in this video right here. Well, the answer to those questions is simple. God did not allow those things, nor did he ever call for them. And anyone who's actually read the Bible would know that. Neither Jesus Christ nor the Bible ever condoned or called for those tragedies. And the individuals who were responsible for those types of events weren't doing it on behalf of Christ, they were doing it for themselves. Claiming that you're doing something on behalf of Christ means absolutely nothing if you're literally violating everything that Jesus stood for while you're doing it. That's just common sense. It's exactly why I always say, I don't follow Christians, I don't follow the church, I follow Christ. And so there are people who would say that you are in a sinful marriage. Can you tell me which verse it is that would make people uh, it, it's, say? It's, well, it, the thing is, is that it's actually not there. Duh! And that people twist the Bible verses. That's my whole point, but thank you for proving that because it doesn't say that. And, and it's okay. actually, you're gonna say Leviticus or whatever. It's not actually what Leviticus says, but go on. I don't wanna get into to, you know, specifics about the Bible, but that's not what the Bible says. It's just people uh, using and interpreting scripture in a way that they want to interpret it. So it, I, I, look, you can believe whatever you want to believe. I don't believe that I'm in a sin, sinful marriage, but there are people who believe Candace Owens, that you are in a sinful marriage because you are in an interracial marriage. And I say that as someone who is in an interracial marriage, so I am doubly sinful. Yeah, I've never heard anybody make a biblical argument against people being married that are black and white. So that's why I said, can you just tell me yeah. what verse that was? Sodomy is obviously a sin, but I've never heard a biblical argument. I'm happy to learn. I, I honestly, you know I'm happy to learn. Sodomy is not just for gay sex, right? You know that, right? Sodomy is. Yeah, it's a sin always, by the yeah, way. Yeah, it's a sin between, yeah. it can be a sin between heterosexuals as well. Yes, that's but, correct. So, okay, so, but um, you've never heard that interracial marriage was sinful? I've I mean, never heard somebody make a biblical argument for yeah. inter. I've never, and that's why I'm saying if you could present that to me and you, you maybe you're familiar yeah, with what that was. Yeah, but actually it's not a biblical argument. Who, who, it's also a religious it? argument uh, as well, more so than anything that you're in a sinful marriage and that black and white people should not be married. I mean, I'm obviously very aware that people could think that ideologically, but I've never heard that biblical argument made ever in my life. And mm -hmm. I'm, I'm happy to be proven wrong here, but I, I think you... You made that up on the spot there? So by saying that, no, I didn't actually. But by saying that you believe that I'm in a sinful marriage, yeah. um, does that mean, though, that I should be discriminated against? No, I've never called for discrimination. So you believe People in the separate sin, of church and state then? Heterosexual couples can sin as well. I mean, I, I, but I, you know, I hope that you deal with that. I obviously, <laughs> I want you to be Christian and to understand why it is that sodomy is a sin and what else it yields in society. You know, I, I believe that marriage is between a man and a woman. Okay. I mean, I have people that are, you know, gay and lesbians in my life. I have cousins who are lesbians, so it's not, I don't have hatred Do you have gay in my friends? heart. Do you have Jewish I, friends? I have, Do you have gay friends? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to be funny. Do you have gay friends? I, I want to know. Yes, I, 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 do, I actually don't have, like I, I 
really kind of feel like I only hang out with my family right now. So I'm a little, <laughs> I've got three kids under three, so I don't really have friends right now, but yeah, sure. No, seriously, you, you don't have gay friends? Well, I have, I have gay people in my family. So I, I yeah, that's, that's the extent of my friendships with gay people. Are you homophobic? <laughs> No, I'm seriously. I, want to know. Such I, an I thought you would say, being. of course I have gay friends. You're just such an absurd being. being. No, know, first saying. off, the person that you're just an absurd human being. Are you homophobic? <laughs> oh, I was just like, what, what does even what does homophobia actually mean? Can you give me a definition of homophobic? If I was homophobic, would I be doing like this show? Do you think I'm like scared? Like I'm like, oh my god, look, there's a gay man. I'm so scared. It's no, not, not at all. Homophobia is like to have question. a phobia and a fear of. Like you know, you think I fear like two gay men that are walking down the street holding hands? Like and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so scared. I don't fear. I don't fear anything but God. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't. I don't think God is to be feared. But anyways, Candace Owens, thank you for appearing. I really appreciate your time. Thanks. Thank you so much. It was great. Talk soon. Right. So when Lamont first asked about homosexuality being a sin, he stated that it's not actually what Leviticus says. And he's obviously referring to the scripture that states that a man shall not lay with another man, except that's exactly what it says. Because when you look at the original biblical manuscripts, that's exactly what the Hebrew, Greek Septuagint, and Latin manuscripts all say. So it's obvious that Mr. Lamont is listening to the Brandon Robertson version of history and hermeneutics, which is very unfortunate. A little later, Don made a great point when he made another comment about the Bible. He said that sodomy is a sin, and that it's not just a sin for male-on-male -male relationships, but for heterosexual relationships as well. And he's absolutely right. God from the beginning made it clear what his design was for relations and it's between a man and a woman and there was and still is no ambiguity to that design but Lamont actually destroyed his own argument by saying that and didn't even realize it if you rewind he stated earlier that Leviticus isn't saying what we think it's saying about male on male relationships and, and it's actually you're gonna say Leviticus or whatever it's not actually what Leviticus says but go on I don't want to get into to you know specifics about the Bible but that's not what the Bible says but then he goes on to acknowledge that sodomy is a sin now Correct me if I'm wrong, but how else could a dual male relationship engage in relations if not through sodomy? Is there another entrance that I'm not aware of? Or, I mean, do I have to set up like three mirrors around me at different angles or something to see something that I'm not aware? I mean, what's going on? Now, another thing that really concerns me about Don Lamont is how he thinks about God. Remember when he asked Candace if she had any gay friends? Well, after she answered, Don had a very interesting response. I don't fear anything but God. That's it. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't. I don't think God is to be feared, but anyways. And that's scary, guys, because even though he's being honest, and you can tell he is, it should give you pause. Nothing in the Bible states that we should live in constant terror of God. Nothing at all. But the fear that Candace is talking about is a fear of disobedience. The same kind of fear that we all had growing up, or most of us anyway, thinking about getting caught disobeying our own parents because we knew what the consequences would be. That's what she's referring to. So to hear Don saying this is truly revealing because he's obviously of the mindset that he's going to do whatever he wants anyway. And even though deep down he knows what he's doing is wrong, he's going to keep doing it because his unrepentant lifestyle is his God. It's his idol. But remember this, ladies and gents, the people in Saddam and Gomorrah, Canaan, and Egypt didn't think God was to be feared either, and we all know what happened there. At the end, I am extremely proud of Candace for being straight up with Don Lamont and not backing down to him like the rest of the world has. It's really sad that there are so many Christians out there who are not willing to tell people the truth of the Bible. Now, here's the part that's going to surprise a lot of you. I'm really proud of Don Lamont, too. He was cordial and he was diplomatic. And even though he wasn't interested in hearing God's actual truth, he wasn't rude and he behaved like someone who really was interested in having a conversation and not trying to get a gotcha moment out of Candace Owens. He wasn't really honest about his biblical arguments, but I honestly think we can just chalk that up to ignorance of the Bible. And that's unfortunately not too uncommon nowadays. All we can do is pray that his mindset changes and his outlook about God and what biblical scripture really says about his lifestyle. I would love nothing more than to see him and his partner in heaven one day. But that would take true repentance, which means a lifestyle change that, at least at this point in time, does not seem like Don Lamon is ready to commit to. But having said that, I pray to God that you liked the video. And if you did, please type amen in the comment section if you agree. And if you don't, go ahead and leave those comments also. Just keep it respectful. As always, please don't forget to like, like, like the video, hit the sub button, share the video, and smash that bell for event notifications, guys, so you never miss a new video. If you love what you see and you want to become a channel sponsor, you can hit that join button where the sponsorship trailer will explain the different tier options and the perks that you'll get as a result of joining each individual plan. Also, don't forget to check out our merch store as I recently added a ton of new merchandise to the store, and I would love to see nothing more than to see some of you guys wearing the cross unit logo out there in the wild lastly the link to my buy me a coffee is there as well of course you're not required to do any of that just having you here with me is more than enough and i am extremely grateful to god for your fellowship as always guys be safe be good and be blessed remember that jesus is king and the literal only way to heaven so for those of you who haven't started a relationship with him yet 
please consider it, because when he comes back for his people, it's gonna happen just like this.